I am Wonder001 and this is my review slash first look at Netflix Profiles which was long rumored and rolled out at the end of July beginning of August 2013. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice that's the big change with Netflix when you launch into it you're going to be presented with this who's watching uh, you have five profiles that you can set up. Uh, you can name each of the profiles. You can choose a picture for each of the profiles. And you can even set up a kid's profile or a under 12 rating for a particular profile. You will be limited to five profiles on Netflix. Uh, the particular interface that I'm using at the moment is the PlayStation 3 because it has not rolled out on all devices. I have no idea why Netflix decided to do this, but at launch, like I said, late July, early August 2013, it is not supported by the Roku, it's not supported by Android uh, tablets or smartphones. Uh, if you want this, this user interface with the profiles, you have to use PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Apple TV. Again, I'm not sure why they disregarded the Roku because... Quite frankly, to me, the Roku is the simpler device. It's the device that everybody and their mother has. I mean, my grandmother has a Roku because it's just dead simple to use. But then again, my grandparents don't need all the different profiles. So maybe that was their, maybe that's what they were thinking. You know, if you're going to have an older family, sing, whatever. We won't get into that. It was their decision. They made it. Whatever. Uh, so you will see. Like I said before, five different profiles, that's what you're, uh, you're limited to. You'll notice that each of the profiles has a different picture. The pictures can be set up. I will edit a profile. Um, you can change the name on the profile. I'm just going to hit next. These are the by default uh, icons or avatars that you can have for the Netflix profiles. If you attach your Netflix account to your Facebook account, which you can do, it will display your Facebook page uh, photo instead of one of these avatars. You can't do that from the PlayStation 3 interface. Uh, I'll show you that a little later on the actual Netflix interface. Here you could see you could select Netflix for kids or just standard Netflix. Uh, this particular profile, for demonstration purposes, it's my profile, so I left it on whomever. Uh, so I'm going to start off with this family profile for one reason. This is the main profile that was created when I first joined Netflix. Now, you can see it's a hodgepodge of kids' cartoons and um, whatever you would classify <laughs> this particular show as. That was the big thing with the, uh, the profiles. You can have five profiles. Everybody has their own taste profile. What they seem to have forgotten to mention is this main profile, the first profile that you created. I tried to delete it to get a fresh start instead of having to create a new profile for myself. The main profile, that first profile that you made, you cannot delete it. You cannot change it. So I had to relegate it to being the family profile, which will go through and kind of collate and cue it to, you know, movies that I'll watch with my wife or, or whatever. So that was kind of a, um, a downfall. I was hoping that I'd be able to just fix this one, start over, uh, instead of having to create a new one. So what you're going to notice is in the upper right hand corner, you have the option for profile. So if you log into a profile, you can always choose a different profile. Um, in my case, I will show you the roommate's profile because the roommate's profile is empty right now. So the beauty of this is everybody gets their own instant streaming queue. Nobody has overlapping. So he does not have anything in his queue yet. So it's just giving a general assumption based on popular things on Netflix and what have you. Uh, I will show you the kids profile. So when you have a kids profile, it's kids under 12. So what it's going to do is it's going to populate with... Uh, different shows that are quote unquote kid friendly. So there's not gonna be any of those things that you might have in your profile. So this is kind of nice to have. So when my nieces come over, I could just, you know, here's your profile, go and watch whatever you want. I don't have to worry about them clicking on something that they're not supposed to uh, unless they 
go back and choose a different profile. So I will show you my very sparse profile. So pretty much what I like about this is now that I have my own profile, I could put shows in there. Uh, you notice in my instant queue, I have, well, there are things that are kind of recommended to me uh, by people I work with saying, oh, you got to see this movie. Uh, I know that my wife has no interest in these types of movies, so I didn't want to put them in our shared queue because I was trying to be nice and, you know, and not skew what movies were recommended to us. So now that I have this, I can throw them in here and I don't have to worry about it. Like I said, the family one is going to remain a family one until we kind of move these over to our individual profiles. And then we'll leave the main one just for our, our shared viewing. Uh, the interface on the computer looks a little different. There aren't many differences, but I'll show you what that looks like now. Here we can see after we've logged into Netflix on our computer, you're presented with, just like on the other device, in this case the PlayStation 3, the choices of who's watching. You select who is watching and you'll notice in the middle there it does have the picture uh, or avatar associated with that profile. Um, so this is your standard uh, Netflix viewing experience that you're used to. The only main change is up here in the right hand corner. You have the selection of the drop down, who's watching, and the profile manager. In this case you can see the five different profiles and the one that is listed as being for children under 12. All you would do is come and select edit. From here you can change the name to whatever you want as well as change it if it's not an under 12 profile and come over here and if you hover over the icon you can choose one of the presets. Like I said you can link the profile to your Facebook account I'm not doing that because I just have no interest in it. But if you did, it would change the profile picture over here to your Facebook profile. You can also obviously delete a profile. And then you'll be presented with the option up here to add the profile again. Uh, in this mode, you cannot change the avatar. You have to wait until you actually create the profile and then go to edit and then you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Kids under 12 again, and done. You'll notice that there is no sequencing the profiles, so as you create them, that is the order in which that they will appear. Not a terrible thing, but a minor inconvenience. And I must say that one of the things that I was waiting for, or wondered why Netflix didn't have this when it launched, was the profiles. I'm happy they have them now. Uh, keep in mind that even though you have five profiles that you can choose from, you are still limited to only two streaming devices on your basic Netflix account. So if you're streaming something and somebody else is streaming something, that's it. You, you don't get five streams. You have to upgrade your account. So this has been Wonder 001. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the area below.